today's video oh hello cat Layla's joining us I look so pale I just got done working out and I haven't really I mean I did record the workout but I haven't recorded like a vlog today today's video is just gonna be an assumptions video um, you guys gave me a lot of ideas on Instagram of videos you would like to see and this was one of them so I had you assume a bunch of stuff about me and yeah, I took screenshots of all the things you guys said and we're just gonna go right on through it. Rebecca Payne said, you're hard on yourself when you mess up. Yes and no. Um, I'm very aware that in order to succeed you have to have a lot of failures, or not a lot, but you just have to have failures and you should always learn from them. And no one's perfect. However, when I'm like putting my heart and soul into something, obviously it's like ugh, bummer that didn't work this time or I should have done this instead but I always learn from it so no one likes messing up but I I don't think I'm too hard on myself other people might say otherwise <laughs> I don't think I'm too hard on myself um, I do think I put a lot of pressure on myself but I'm not hard on myself when I mess up you're not interested in competing again this is a topic that I talked about a little bit on my last um, Instagram live story I did. I, I keep going back and forth. Right now I am very content not competing. Um, I haven't really, like I haven't regretted my decision at all. I haven't been, not jealous. Um, like I, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. I'm just very content with where I am right now. Now with that being said, I also, it's weird to think that I would never compete again. Um, I think if I were to compete again, it would be for one show and I would go into it knowing this is going to be my last show just so I could have a little bit of a different experience and like, you know, go into it knowing that it was my last one and I just wanted to enjoy it. So we'll see. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, I assumed you were older because you have your shit together. Um, thank you. That has honestly been a thing for like my entire life. People have always guessed my age was older than I actually am. So I guess I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Ever since I was a little girl, people were like, oh, you're an old soul. You're wise beyond your years. Um, you want babies ASAP? False. I do want babies. Christopher wants babies, but we do not want babies ASAP. We're thinking like two to three years. We're still super young. I have a lot I want to get done. We have a lot that like in general we need to, we don't need to have it <laughs> together, but I would prefer to like have a house, obviously have a bigger place, be more financially ready for a kid. Um, and like we want to go travel a little bit more, see more of the world before we have a child. So yeah, I guess that's where I am with the whole thing, but no, no babies ASAP. Could we handle it if we had a baby right now? Yes, we could, and we would love it, and we would be the best freaking parents, but if we can wait, we're waiting. You're extremely over posting a YouTube video every day. I don't know if that's an assumption or if that's just your opinion. I apologize if you think I'm over posting, but a lot of people really like my daily vlogs. And I like hanging out with you guys, so sorry. Um. You have insecurities that you don't let show. This is a good one. Christopher and I were actually just talking about this. I don't mean for this to come off in like a cocky way because obviously we all have things about ourselves that we would like to change or improve or whatever. But ever since I started, I would say probably over the last two years, 
I really haven't had many insecurities and really over the last year like ever since I stopped competing or ever since my last show I think I've done a very good job of not comparing myself to anyone else and just being very focused on where I am my own fitness journey my relationships being happy in my body feeling confident in my body fueling my body properly just like I, I've shifted my focus um, from not I, I don't just focus on my physical appearance anymore focus more on what's on the inside so I really don't have that many insecurities now when I was little I definitely did um, I had really weird ones so I used to hate my nose because I thought it was a pig nose. I also used to hate my hairline. Like I never used to wear my hair up because I hated that I have like this little widow's peak. Um, I used to be very insecure about, I'm sure you guys have noticed these before. This arm's not that bad, it's my other arm. I have all of these little red splotches and I've had them, oh my gosh, this is a workout. I've had them my entire life. Wow, you like can't see them. There we go. Yeah, so the backs of my arms have always had these red splotches, and I used to be really insecure about that. Um, I don't know. They were just like random things. But I, I feel like I don't really have any insecurities anymore. Love yourself. There's only one of you. You're unique. You're great. You didn't plan to have a fitness platform like you have now. True. I would have never guessed that this would be what I'm doing currently. Um, I'm very, very thankful that it is. I feel very hashtag blessed. <laughs> I've just kind of been rolling with the punches and diving more into certain things that I found out that I enjoy and it's led me to here. <laughs> so yeah, definitely didn't see it coming. Uh, if you had to pick one clothing brand to wear for the rest of your life, would it be Lulu or it would be Lululemon? Correct. That is a very good assumption. Heck yeah. You don't like drinking alcohol. True. Um, it's not that I don't like, well no it is. I don't like the feeling of not having control over my, my body. I definitely do not like the hangover after, which I don't normally get hungover because I don't ever let myself get to that level. But that's usually why I don't let myself get to that level and I don't like the way alcohol tastes. But yeah, it's like you go out, have a fun night if you're with the right people but usually it's a little stressful especially when people go overboard and then the next day is just terrible you feel horrible it's a complete waste you get nothing done I'm a very productive person or try to be productive and I'm very motivated very driven like I want to get stuff done and I don't like that you're just wasting a day not to just relax it's like you're wasting a day because you feel like crap not interested in that however during the summer, when we go up to the lake, I love having a drink or two. They're never the healthy drinks. <laughs> um, they're always like the frozen drinks because that's what tastes good to me. But those are very few and far between. So yeah, you're correct in saying that I don't like drinking alcohol. I really don't like the taste and I also don't like the feeling. Um, you like cats over dogs. False. I like all aminals. Logan's looking at me currently. Uh, your family has money, but, in all caps, you earn everything you have. So excited for you, 20K. <laughs> that face. So my parents are divorced. Um, I definitely didn't grow up with a rich family. Um, my parents both own their own business, so the income can fluctuate. I was always taken care of. My mom and dad always got me the clothes I wanted. Like they always took very good care of me. Um, I'm my dad's only child. I am my mom's fourth child. So th it was a little different there. Like my growing up was just different than the average kid. Well, actually now 50% of couples get divorced now. So I guess I am on I'm average, whatever. Anyway, I didn't grow up with rich parents. Um, the community I grew up in and the school district I went to, it was a, there was definitely very wealthy families and I was not one of them. Um, but yeah, my parents have always done well for themselves and the fact that like they were able to raise us, put food on the table, take us on vacations over the summers. And yeah, I had a really good childhood. Um, definitely not like rich though, but 
in all caps, like you said. Everything that I have right now, I have been <laughs> earning. Um, I've been working my butt off and trying to save as much money as I can for when we're ready to buy a house. And um, yeah, so I've always really enjoyed working. When I was in high school, I basically worked full time. Um, I had 10 grand saved up at the end of high school. And I won my Louis Vuitton purse from the tanning salon I worked at because I was the top sales associate in Columbus. Hey yo, cool. All right, moving on. You don't want to do a plant-based diet. Correct. Um, I have nothing against them if that's what you are into, if that's what you like and you prefer, but, but that's just not for me. Um, you got good grades in school. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, my senior year, I don't think I had anything under, um, yeah, under like a 4-3. I always took honors classes and AP classes. Uh, that's why those are on either a 4.5 or a 5 point scale. So I actually had above a 4 point. I think my cumulative at the end of high school was like a 3-8, maybe something like that. And then in college, my freshman year, I got a 3-9. Um, sophomore year I think I had like a 3.8 and then junior year I got like a 3.6 um, and then I stopped going to school and pursued this. I'm pointing to my computer. I guess I should be pointing to you guys. I pursued this in my personal training, got certified, and now we're here. Um, I assume you have always been into fitness. That is correct. I grew up doing sports. Um, I cheered for my brother's DFL football team, like little football team, and I grew up doing gymnastics. Like my parents put me in gymnastics from probably as soon as I could walk. I feel like I have pictures of me doing little cartwheels <laughs> from when I was super tiny. Um, so yeah, I've definitely always been into fitness. I did sports all throughout school, really, really liked them. And I had three older brothers, so I was just always very active. I feel like I grew up more of a tomboy than I did a girly girl. So, if you guys watch my vlogs, you, I get so excited to go throw the football with Chris. Like, I love being outside when the weather is nice. And also, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I landscaped. So, my dad owns a landscaping business. I should say that. Um, for, like, four summers in a row. That's what I did over the summer. I landscaped for him. So, I've always been very active. Um, you're offered a lot in all caps, of sponsorship opportunities. Um, I guess I don't really know what a lot is. As far as like collaborations, I would say I'll have maybe two or three companies reach out to me. And maybe two companies reach out to me a week. I don't know, it differs. Depending on the time of year, what company, like obviously in the spring, there was a lot of bathing suit companies looking to collaborate with influencers to get their products seen um, for all the spring break vacations and summer vacations so that was it, it differs every single week's a little bit different but actual like being an athlete for a company I don't think I get a lot but there's definitely there's definitely been some who have reached out but I'm sure you guys can tell I have I've made a switch one time from Motivate Protein to Bomar Nutrition and it was just an amazing fit and I, if you have questions about that, you can go watch my video over that. I have nothing bad to say about Motivate. It was just a better fit. I can be more involved with Bomar and it, the whole thing just came full circle. Anyway, um, I'm very picky with who I work with. I. I've had, there's companies that will reach out for a collaboration. They're like, oh, we'll send you free product or we'll send you this if you give us a positive review. I'm like, okay, well, what if I don't like what you send me? What if I have something bad to say about it? Are you going to get mad at me? Because that's not going to work. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess, I don't think a lot of companies reach out. There's definitely, some weeks are, um, there's more than others, or some months, there's more than others. You're ready for lake days and sunshine. Yes. Oh my gosh. Chris and I keep talking about how excited we are to go back up to the lake. I'm so pumped. You have been sporty all your life. Yes. I already talked about that. That we would be best friends. <laughs> LOL. But for real, 
that you're an amazing woman. Oh, thank you so much, Lizzie. You're so sweet. Um, you're so active slash workout because you are raised by active parents. Uh, yeah, I would say so. So like I said, my parents own their own business um, ever since I was a kid. My mom does faux finishing and interior design. Um, and then my dad owns landscaping, a uh, landscaping business. So they were both very, very active. We've always joked that like once I do get a house, it's going to be beautiful. My dad's going to make the outside look beautiful and my mom's going to make the inside look beautiful. <laughs> It'll be great. Uh, but yeah, they were always really active. My mom basically did all the sports I did. She did gymnastics, cheerleading, volleyball, track. She did even more sports than I did. And I always grew up hearing her talk about that. So that is true. Oh, that was the last one. Alrighty. Well, those are the assumptions you guys made about me. They're basically, I think they were all pretty correct. If you have any other ones, comment down below. I'll definitely respond to them. Um, and yeah, I need to start working on client programs and get them sent out um, or have them ready to send out tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'm going to get to work, but I will see you tomorrow. Maybe for another vlog. I don't know. There are going to be some challenges coming. Um, I've been... I spent like four hours today trying to respond to as many comments as I could on the giveaway for or the 20k giveaway which this video is going up Friday morning so I'm gonna announce the giveaway on Insta or the winner on Instagram and then I'm also gonna reply to their comment um, so look out for that but I spent so much of my day trying to respond to as many comments as I could because you guys gave me some really, really good feedback. I know you all want to see a lot more like wedding details and wedding planning stuff that will be coming closer to like, there will definitely be more of that. The closer the wedding gets, we've just really kind of been at like a standstill. We haven't been doing much. We're going to that cheesecake tasting soon and we're going to help my mom put together all the flowers she's doing the flowers for us because she's amazing um so yeah there will be more stuff coming with that we just really haven't been doing anything recently so anyways thank you guys so much i will see you tomorrow or the next day we'll see